shout out to Math Hot for one time. Go ahead and smash that like button, hit that notification bell, make Math Hoffa see this video, make that bitch ass nigga Hollow the Don see that video, and make sure Adi Boom see that video too. But they ain't the only rat niggas. Let's let's stop trying to make niggas the face of this rat shit. It's a whole lot of you rat motherfuckers running around here. Let's quit all this acting shit. Math, man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I seen the live you did. My nigga, bro. That's why you fucking hot for, bro. That's why you official for real, bro. You niggas better learn like math. And learn from math and get your mathematics in order, bro. I ain't gonna even lie to y'all. Get your motherfucking mathematics in order. ASAP. Math, let me do a disclaimer before I even get on with this video. Now, I'm glad you understood that I wasn't mad or nothing at you and how, you know what I'm saying? You wrote that comment to me, you wasn't mad at me. Or I wish I could have hit you up, but my Instagram is down right now. Fuck, nigga, if we, if, man, I'm, I'm fucking mad, man, fuck. I think if we talked on the phone, the miscommunication would have been better, but shout out to you for being a real nigga, not being emotional like these whole ass niggas, and we talked like men, and you let me know what it was, and, and I gotta let you know what this video really is, bro. It's to pay respect and let you know at the same time, I never was mad at you, bro. When you said what you said about Adi Boom on your show, when this shit first popped off, bro, you don't got to worry, bro. I know where you was coming from. You ain't no fake nigga or a fake friend. You ain't that bitch ass nigga hollow the Don. When you did what you did, bro, it was because you know Adi Boom in real life. I ain't going to call y'all besties and all that extra shit, but you know this nigga. So it would have been real corny for you to get on that camera and just start spazzing on the nigga. And bro, I felt that all the way, my nigga. I didn't hold you accountable like you was set tripping or, or you was wilding out or something like that. Nah, my nigga, I looked at you thorough and honest. And what you said was the truth, bro. When you said, because I think you got confused when I said what I said. Because you said, if you ain't a gangster nigga, you shouldn't be talking about snitches. And I agreed with you to a certain extent, meaning that. I know what you mean. There's a lot of bitch ass niggas. I ain't never been through that fire. And they walking around like they the nigga I gotta be 100% for. Just whole ass niggas. I understand you all the way. You seen a lot of bitch niggas talking about Adi Boom like they bitch asses. With they, them niggas with a snitch within the first minute, bro. So I, I, I understood absolutely what I was trying to say is I'm not a gangster, but I've been through that circumstances. You feel me? I'm not the same thing like these other little civilians. I mean, like, I grew up in the hood around these gangsters, so I'm guilty by association. But I don't call myself no gangster. You know what I mean, Math? But I'm with you, bro. The videos that I've been doing about that rat ass shit got nothing to do with Math. I know you cool with Uncle Ra, but man, fuck that nigga, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I already read between the lines what type of nigga he is, bro. You just a real nigga, Math, and I give you that. But I'm not fucking with niggas like Uncle Ra. We're gonna call out these niggas, but what's the point of me calling out these other niggas' names? Y'all see all the bitch ass niggas dancing around this Adi Boom shit. You got niggas trying to come at Big K like he was extra wrong for letting that. Man, I salute to all you niggas who expose rats and all type of fraud snake niggas out here. It's hot like I'm in church, nigga, because I'm preaching, bro. This whole Adi Boom situation is like a bad stomach, my nigga. Notice the voice I had in the videos I did, bro. Ain't no excitement in the videos, bro. It's a letdown, bro. Not because Adi Boom is a letdown. Rats come every day, bro. But I'm talking about the community, dawg. To see niggas be trying to like... I remember the days niggas was like low-key trying to... Oh, I smoke, hip flip-flop, or um, I snitch, hip. All that corny shit that get your fucking jaw decked in real life. You say that corny shit in my face. All you corny ass niggas. That's why I agree with Mav. A lot of you bitch made niggas using that snitch word way too loosely. Wouldn't say that shit to no nigga face, but you the nigga that get the pop off. But I remember niggas was trying to low key call me that with no proof because of channels being taken down. When I told them, Angry Fan, we love his channel. Why would we take that shit? I don't take no man's channel down. And Angry Fan never lost his channel. He got it. Um, What you call it? Never lost his channel. He got. When I see niggas. Giving past to Adi Boom, I think about sucking shit like that. Nigga, there's a reason why my channel grew so big when I got out that corny boys club group y'all niggas, clown niggas in. It's a bunch of cornball ass niggas who joined up together because bitch made niggas was tired of getting bullied and all that. This ain't bully video though, this is an educational video. Too many hoe ass niggas in this world, bro.
in a battle rap community and in the blogging community of battle rap, it's so many bitch niggas, bro. It's crazy, bro. I don't even watch niggas no more, bro. Salute to the real battle rap bloggers out there, but I don't watch battle rap blogging videos like that. I told y'all that. Not because I got beef or anything like that. It's just every nigga talk about the same shit. Every nigga regurgitate the same shit, nigga. And if you're going to talk about the same shit, give us your style, nigga. What's your swag like, nigga? What's your vibe, nigga? Shout out to Pop Smoke. You know the vibes. What's your fucking vibe is, nigga? You corny, nigga. You ain't even entertaining, nigga. You can't even turn the camera and, and feel or be yourself, nigga. You got to write shit down. Nigga, I ain't got shit scripted, nigga. And I'm drinking, smoking. You niggas can't do that. You niggas get jealous when you see the real call the fuck nigga shit out. Because the real life... When you see me talking about an Audi Boom and the characters of the whole ass community of battle rap, you bitch niggas know I'm talking about you. You frauds know I'm exposing your ass, so you you hit a dislike. <laughs> the dislike niggas, you know these whole ass niggas, they hit the dislike as if, oh I want to hit this man, but I'm too scared to show my face, so. It, the, the feel like they official, they gotta do a bitch ass troll account or niggas be thinking I got a troll account. You bitch made niggas, I'm not you niggas. Y'all hide your face. Y'all, y'all, Adi Boom characters like niggas. Niggas got entire blogging battle rap channels and they don't even got a face. Niggas call themselves the wave and shit like that. Yeah, if you part of the wave gang and you know you don't do what the other members do, then sit the fuck down. I ain't talking about you. But 90% of the wave gang, a bunch of corny bloggers who can't even get enough subscribers or views. So they have to team up, do whole shit like put dick pictures next to fucking kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about that? You got the weak ass bloggers who choose to follow them and be friends with them. That's why your channel dying, because you support sucker nigga shit and wonder why niggas like me don't respect you. Not that you need my respect, but what about everybody else? They damn sure don't respect you because your views is a reflection of your character. Facts. Niggas don't like Bless One because he tell the truth, but guess what? Niggas be watching. You niggas dick ride everybody and still can't get the proper view. So all that dick sucking you did. How did it help your platform? I'm talking to the Wave Gang and to all the people who friends with niggas in the Wave Gang. Y'all know when the Wave Gang was created? Shout out to Battle Truth. When Battle Truth lost his first channel, these niggas got, well, before he lost it, these niggas took down his channel. Yeah, I, I got a memory. He, he, he got online, said he got a strike, his channel about to go down. These niggas flagged all of it and then said, niggas like all things popping. Yeah, I'm calling names on whole niggas. The entire Wave Gang. Niggas come, oh, we gonna create our own gang. We gonna start taking niggas out the way. You know what they mean by that? How you can take a nigga out the way if you can't do it with real contact? By taking your fucking channel out. You niggas, uh, it, it made sense you niggas would love Adi Boom. I said this shit. I didn't speak about it when it first happened because I was like, let's sit back. I want to see this real battle rap community like they say they is. These frauds. None of you niggas did it, bro. I'm not let down. Y'all the same community that allowed pedophiles, niggas crying for tech, nah. Niggas don't realize, niggas calling the, the young girl who got violated, calling her a hoe and all that. But when the mama reached out to me over a year, the case been going on for a minute. Tech Nine just had that shit suppressed. So you niggas didn't know about it. Why do you think he was always nervous on every show? Cause he knew one day the shit was gonna come out. Why do you think he killed himself? Right. Chris some bias. Let's just be real. When shout out to Queens Flip, I released the video. The first one got deleted. I had over two hundred thousand views. I think the 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 I have re-uploaded. It's probably at thirty thousand views. It should have been more. Queens Flip knew about Chris Unbiased years before that shit happened. He was low key the first one to expose Chris Unbiased. That's why I love Queens Flip, bro. I copied his format somewhat because Queens Flip got the fuck out of the. But he's still in battle rap, but he's doing his own thing away from the culture like I do. And you grow bigger. When Queens Flip was battle rap blogging, all you dick sucking ass niggas was hating on that nigga. When 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 Chris uh when Chris Unbiased did that suck ass shit about the he she dude that was battling and called out Flip instead of calling the nigga phone number, you niggas was dick riding Chris Unbiased instead of the real niggas. 
And Queens Flip even apologized, not because he wanted to. He seen the backlash he was getting from you suck ass niggas. The best thing Queens Flips ever did was leave you clown ass niggas. Yeah, he be on stage and all that because he's real friends in real life with fucking Smack and an entire lot. He even told me that one day he's going to be loyal to the death of him for Smack. And I salute that. That's honorable. That's why I salute Math Hoffa. You niggas ain't honorable. You niggas get to speak about real niggas. We be sitting back watching you clown niggas down here in Florida. You, you you think the Zoles don't ride with Matt Hoffa? Who you think the Zoles gonna pick? You think we gonna look at these frail bitch niggas like Hollow the Don that you niggas envy? Grind time battle rapper ass nigga. <laughs> I remember, I drank my lean, I drank my lean cause the nigga is a lean sipper. He supposed to be official cause he got arrested for being a crackhead. Shout out to Mav. Niggas like me and Mav, we getting stabbed and shit. We got real bullet wounds and shit like that. You, I'm not saying you need that to be official, but you whole ass niggas. You get put on a community and shit like that. Other niggas that you try to fuck with, but they so effeminate. Nigga act like they, they got a real beef with you. I don't like our smoke hip hop. All right, nigga, get off your fucking pussy feeling, bitch, nigga. Whole ass nigga. Type of nigga, we, I'm just hanging with your whole ass. You'll be nervous the whole time, twitching and fidgeting and shit. Studying, Ruben, studying ass nigga. Most of you niggas I spoke with in real life in a battle rap blogging career. A lot of you niggas is some hoes in real life. I'ma just call it like, I ain't gonna say no names because I'ma be respectful. Let's say what it is, man. Most of these battle rap rappers are some whole niggas too. When Math Hoffa hit Dose, I loved it. I didn't get mad. Man, 